Welcome to another exciting episode of Channel X, the only show on Thursdays that starts the weekend early. I am your host, TomDog247, and as always, I'm TomDog all day and TomDog all night. Woo, baby, all right. So, hope everybody had a safe and happy 4th of July. I did. I relaxed. I sat on my porch watching the fireworks, drinking a beer, listening to some classic rock and everything, and, uh, had a little track list going on and everything, and it was so relaxing. I wish I had a bonfire. Um, I think that would have made everything a lot better if I had a bonfire. But I will get a fire pit soon. <laughs> I will definitely get one. So, um, hot as hell outside today. And um, so I do apologize in advance if you hear um a fan uh some like wind blowing in the background. I have my fan on. I'm sweating my balls off here. As a matter of fact, they literally fell off my body. My balls have fell off my body, and I can't. I can't put them back on. You know, I'm kind of ballless right now. You know? <laughs> so, but it's Thursday. It's Channel X. It's all about having a good time, and I hope you're going to have a good time because we got a huge. We got a huge show to talk about today. We got. We got. We got lots to talk about. Um, pretty much, um, a lot of stuff that we're pretty much, um, it's going to be like a rant episode, um, for those who are familiar with my work, um, or lack thereof, I, on my YouTube channel, I do from time to time rants, stuff that piss me off, and, uh, so I've... There was some stuff that I, I didn't want to touch base on normal rants because it, it seemed like a, you know, they they seem kind of ludicrous. Maybe like one of them. Um, I'm just going to tackle a couple of them because I don't want to be out here too, too long. Um, but we have a lot of stuff. Um, but it's going to be a lot of ground to talk on and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So. so we're going to have a lot of fun and maybe you can post your comments on the uh, comment section there and then. And whatnot. Um, changing up the background a little bit, as you can see. Normally, I don't have. Uh, normally, I would put. Um, lately, I've been putting up my uh, my show logo, uh, the Channel X logo. But instead, I wanted to make it a little homely and everything. So, put some psychedelic gimmicks on there. So, um, I do apologize for the for the microphone distortion. I don't know why it's doing that. So, um. Real quickly before I give up to the plugs and shout outs and everything. Um, I don't I don't know who I have to thank from 
from Kellogg's who came up with the idea of some pop tarts I came across to. Buddy of mine, buddy of mine, uh, call him Mark. Big shout out to my my buddy Mark. Um, told me about these pop tarts, and I'll show you. I'll show you the box art too. I'll show you the box art. Maple bacon pop tarts. I don't know who the who who thought of this idea, but these are amazing. These are so fucking amazing. But the only problem I have with it, the only pro there's only one problem I have with it. Why? Why in the bloody hell do you need to put them as limited edition? Damn it! Make them permanent. <laughs> we need them permanent, and you know what? I'm actually having them having some right now. These are actually very good. Last year around this time, I I plugged the um the brownie batter Oreos. I have not found uh, any one of them. I have not found a single one. Nabisco, you're pissing me off here. Don't make me have to do a rant about you. <laughs> but yeah, these are so fucking good, and I really hope that they keep it. I, they really need to keep it. I'm having like lukewarm Pepsi because I was getting things set up here at the last minute like I usually do. Oh, that's fucking good. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm just having Pepsi. I was going to have a beer, but I don't know how good it will taste with the... Um, Maple bacon pop tarts. Now I don't want to try to t test that out in case I get sick, and I don't want to project a vomit live on the air. You know, that's something for a different time. So, um, yeah, we're having we're gonna have some fun here. We're gonna play a little GTA. Um, fart around GTA like we always do. And uh, today is a special occasion. Because not only did the um, one of the new vehicles came out, um, which I'll show in a minute, um, but also it was announced today that um, on their newswire that they got a new DLC coming out on Tuesday, July twelfth, and it's the um, eagerly anticipated. The eagerly anticipated cunning stunts update. Um, the, you got to see the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, go check it out. I'm actually going to put a light on, put a like on it into my YouTube channel. So if you if you can't find it anywhere, I'll post it on my I'll post it on my uh, my YouTube channel in in my likes section. So um, you'll be able to check that out. Um, but it it is absolutely breathtaking, wonderful, whatever. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my YouTube channel. Uh, oh, excuse me. Doing, doing the, uh, doing the YouTube thing on my cellular telephone. I know I have I know I have Rockstar on my list. My list. Yep, there we go. Rockstar Games. Right there. Good old Rockstar Games. Uh, is this the is this the trailer? Okay, there we go. All right. So, okay. I just clicked the like button, so it's on my YouTube channel as we speak. So check that out. I'm here by myself. I don't know why I need to get kicked out for. Um, so yeah, Cunning Stunts DLC. If you haven't checked out the trailer yet, go to my YouTube channel. Um, I it's on my likes section. It's on my likes. I do random. I do other stuff too. So be sure to subscribe to that channel too. You know. 
please hug that like button and subscribe button. So I'll be doing that later on tonight. <laughs> no, not not face hugging. Fucking single for Christ's sakes. I'm a lonely man. I'm balding. Jesus Christ, am I balding? Shit. I'm gonna be 38 years old and I look like shit. <laughs> Keep them coming, keep them coming, come on. Come on. Come on, make me feel bad about myself. Come on. Tell me stuff I already said. <laughs> You're a fat dumb lord. <laughs> You'll never get laid. You're a virgin. <laughs> Sorry, I lost my virginity a long time ago. <laughs> We're having a good time here. Why not? We're going to have a good time here. It's Thursday. We're going to celebrate the weekend right. We're going to do it early. You know, you know, I, you know, this is what I promote all the time. Thursday nights around this time usually would have been on sooner, but, you know, getting stuff ready. I'm, I'm, I've been slacking. I've been, I've been completely slacking. I've been procrastinating a lot. Procrastinating. Not not doing stuff solo, which is an, a sexual term, which starts with the letter M. So, <laughs> that comes later. <laughs> um, but no, I've been, I've been slacking a lot lately. I really have. I haven't even updated my, my webpage. That's how lazy I've been getting, really. I, I've, I've, been, I've been, like, I don't know what the hell is going on with me. I don't know. Depression. Comes at any time. That is why doctors have prescribed new fuck it all. <laughs> when you don't give a shit about life, fuck it all. May cause artificial insemination. <laughs> Ask your doctor if fuck it all is right for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, where the fuck am I going here? I'm I'm just like all over the place for about. Five minutes. Yeah, I'm showing off a fake watch here. Oh my god, he's got an invisible watch! Sorry, that was lame. I apologize. Shit, even I thought it was lame. Maple bacon pop tarts! I would have been eating the whole box. If I had some weed right about now. But here's the thing. I ate a lot of them over the weekend. Happy 4th of July to moi. <laughs> so. Um, so. Shout outs. Big shout outs to my friends over at Facebook. Gaming pros and otherwise. If you have not. Been on there to check that out. Check it out. Tell them Tom Dog sent you. It's Gaming Pros and Otherwise on Facebook. Um, big shout out. Big shout out to my good friend Jennifer. Who uh, this weekend is starting her radio show debut. And it's called Bristol Beat. Um... I don't know if you can see the app, which I should probably change the brightness on this. Which, yeah, yeah, let me change the brightness on this. Uh, put it on 10. There we go. I think now you can see it. I think. Yep, right there. There it is, right there. Bristol Beat. Right there next to you, too. Um, um, the app is up on the Google App Store, uh, the Google Play Store. Um, it's also on iOS, you know, for you Apple fans out there. The launch party is, from what I understand, from what I understand, I think it's tonight, but um, I was working. But I think the, um, they're doing another launch party on Saturday. And she's gonna be, um, she's gonna be hosting everything. My friend Jennifer, give her a shout, and I'll give her a shout and everything. Tell her that, um, 
the other, that Tom dog was holding everybody against their will to say hi to her. You know, I'm only kidding. But um, big shot. But yeah, big shout shout out to her. She's a good friend of mine. Big loyal fan of Channel X for many years. When I when I was doing my cable access, shabanga bang, and um, so this is another reason why I'm so hyped up is because of the fact that I'm so proud of her. Really, I am. I'm very proud of her, and I'm um, really looking forward to uh, listening to her on the radio, giving her that sh- uh, support on the Bristol Beat app. You know, give those shout outs. You know, not sure if she gives. Uh, if she's going to do any shout outs, but um, from what I've heard so far, I've been hearing. Some, I've been hearing some music on there. And it's awesome classic rock, and uh, I'm. I love classic rock. You know, Aero, You know, classic Aerosmith, Eric Clapton. You know. You name it, I'm listening to it. Um, but very good, um, very good, relaxing, and you know, best time if you're having, you know, if you're having that, bar- you know, if you're having that weekend barbecue and you have some friends over for that bonfire. Download that Bristol Beat app now, so that when you have the part, when you have your weekend uh, party and everything like that, and you have a bunch of friends drinking beer and whatnot, or Maybe possibly having an orgy. I don't care. Um, enjoy this wonderful mu- um, this wonderful app. Um, so again, big shout out, super huge shout out to my good friend Jennifer, and uh, she de- she deserves all the um, all the hype and everything like that. I'm actually gonna give a nice plug on on my webpage too when I when I get the. You know, when I get off of my ass and start doing something with that webpage, I've been, like, lazy for the past couple of weeks. And, uh, but yeah, bristolbeat.com is also a place where you can uh, check that out, too. Um, You can download the app through that website and uh, give a like on Facebook and Twitter. Um, All that good shit. Um, Plugs, here we go. Brillpro.com. I already mentioned it like a few times already. Um, got a lot of updates to do and everything like that. Um, I understand, but uh, but yeah, it's a really cool, it's a really cool website. You know, a little a little early stages and everything like that. Um, I'm running it off of GoDaddy.com. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, got a pretty good deal on it. Big shout out to uh, GoDaddy.com if you wanna wanna go on there check it out. Um, sorry, I don't have no promotional codes or anything like that. Sorry, working on it. I'm working on it, but that will probably be for my good friends over at Loot Crate. <laughs> um, but yeah, check out the webpage. It's uh, it's fun. You know, get some baseball stats. Um, uh, you know, see where your favorite movie is ranked in the box office. Um. And some other tidbits. I gotta update it. I have to update it because um, Jerry the King Waller is no longer suspended, so he's been reinstated back into the WWE. So that's a huge, huge note there. Um, so yeah, that's BrillPro.com. Check that out today. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to Loot Crate. You're missing out on some awesome stuff. Every month you get something new and exciting. And this month is futuristic. That is the theme, futuristic. There's going to be some Mega Man stuff. There's going to be Futurama stuff. There's going to be anything that has to do with the future. Uh, It's going to be awesome. Lots of awesome stuff packed into a nifty box. $20, you know, if you have 20 bucks to spend, do it with Loot Crate. LootCrate.com is your place to go to subscribe to your crate to your Loot Crate today. So you still have some time to subscribe to it. And while you're at it, check out Funko. If I can not be a klutz about it and show you the box. Smuggler's Bounty. If you're a Star Wars fan like I am, you check out Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty. 
It's a bi-monthly subscription service where you get stuff that's uh, themed with Star Wars. And, you get, and you're guaranteed a pop vinyl every month. And uh, last, uh, last, last month, um, yeah, for May, for the, uh, for the May subscription, uh, we had a, a Boba Fett and a... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah. An IG-88. So, um, some very good pop vinyls right there. You know, they, they pop vinyl. Uh, Funk, the guys at Funko make some awesome pop vinyl figures and collectibles. Um, you also get a t-shirt. You're also guaranteed a t-shirt um, in every box and some other nifty items. Um, which is also really cool. Um, so check it out. Uh, smugglersbounty.com is your place to go to subscribe to your box now. Uh, there's still some time uh, to to order your your box for this month, which the theme is Jabba's Palace and uh, has everything to do with uh, Jabba's Palace um, from Return of the Jedi. Um, so not sure what, what's going to be inside, but you're going to be amazed to see what you're going to be dealt with if you checked out if you subscribe to that box so you don't want to miss that out and i will be doing an unboxing and uh and of course with loot crate as well so smugglersbounty.com check that out go right there and after you you've take a look take a look at your pop vinyl figure from your smugglers bounty crate go ahead and check out poppriceguide.com and see how much value there is on your pop vinyl f collection. As you can see, my collection is over 500. My pop vinyl collection is worth over $500. Not a bad deal. CM Punk still um, on the top list. It's worth $70. Even I am impressed by that because that is the um. The top sell uh, that is the top highest um, pop vinyl in my collection, so I am happy with that. I am pleased with that. So since he's you know not hasn't really been competing in UFC yet, glad to know that he's still the top pop vinyl in my collection. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> so check it out, Pop Price Guide today. Um, I actually told my friend about it because he had a birthday, big birthday shout out to him, by the way. Um, my other good, my other friend, Mark, um, yeah, I, I know two Marks and, uh, his birthday, big birthday shout out to him. Happy birthday. Belated, actually. I did give him a birthday shout out on his birthday this week, but I also, um, giving him a birthday shout out here today. Um, he actually showed off, um, a pop vinyl figure, um, his first ever pop vinyl figure, um, which was Space Ghost. I told him, I said, you need to go to Pop Price Guy to see how uh, see how much value it is on there. Um, you'd be amazed. And uh, the more your more your collection grows, the better um, the amount you get. And you know, it's good that you know Pop Vinyl collections are amazing. I'm looking forward to the Mega Man Pop Vinyls that are coming out in August, my birthday month. So, I am definitely going to get a Mega Man Pop Vinyl when it comes out. Don't know when, but it's going to be a belated birthday present. So, <laughs> um, I'm definitely looking forward to that. I mean, if there's one out now, I'm definitely going to pick, you know, if there, if there is one that's coming out now, then, you know, I'll definitely pick it up when I go get when I get my other birthday present, and that is Overwatch. I have not gotten that game yet. Can you believe that? I did. I played the beta. I played the beta, and I was kicking ass on that beta, and everybody's like, when are you going to get Overwatch? When are you going to get Overwatch? I don't know. I've been broke. Speaking of broke, I have some sad news to tell you. Um, this weekend is Kineticon uh, here in Connecticut. Um, it's going to be in Hartford this year um, at the... At the Hartford Conven at the Hartford Convention Center and also at the Sheridan, um, in Hartford. Sadly, I won't be able to go. I was looking forward to going, but unfortunately, I 
um, due to financial restraints, I couldn't, I cannot make it. So I'm kicking myself in the ass right now because I really wanted to meet the nostalgia critic and uh, explain to him all what, what I'm dealing with too. Um, you know, trying to get paid and everything like that, and and all that other shit, and you know, the fair use and everything, and uh, also show up there for you know as you know not not just for pleasure but for business as well so i um i was going to make some business cards have some business cards made up and uh send them around to everybody and um and everything like that you know get my not only my web page going but my youtube channel going and everything like that i mean it, yeah you know yeah i have like um like 50 50 or so um um subscribers but i want to get more i want to get more and this is like the best way to promote myself and everything like that. And, uh, you know, instead of having a word of mouth and not having any, anything to show for it, I would have been, I definitely would have been kicking myself in the ass. So, um, but yeah, big shout out to, um, to all the, uh, panels that are going to be at Kineticon and big shout out to all the, um, cosplayers out there. And, uh, sadly I won't be able to meet, meet everybody all this year. And it's like, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to go to a to a comic comic convention, comic book convention sometime in the near future because I want to do that. I fucking want to do that. And I'm uh, definitely planning on doing it um I'm definitely you know going to do it next year. Unless somebody's dying, unless somebody's dying then I would have to cancel, but other than that, if you're if you're just like <clears throat> you know, then Take a throat lozenge and get the fuck out of here. So, <laughs> you know, move on. I want I want to go to um to these comic book connection uh conventions here in Connecticut. I really want to go, but due to fin financial limitations, I I I just couldn't. I I really couldn't. A lot of things have been coming up at the last minute, and it's been you know it pisses me off that I won't be able to go. Um, because I was gonna you know. I think I'd boost up my channel as best as possible and everything. So, all right. So, all right. I plug. I plug the uh, Grand Theft Auto DLC for Tuesday. Okay, got that. Um, so, Brock Lesnar is now going to be headlining UFC 200 this weekend. So that's pretty cool. Um, I think it's this weekend. I think it was this weekend or next weekend. I forgot which, but. Either or, he's still headlining it, and uh, it's going to be really, really good. UFC 200, so that's that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, I forgot I forgot who it was that was supposed to be in there, but I guess he's not in it now. I guess uh, something came up or something. I don't know. Um, I didn't read the whole story, so um, so he's going to be he's going to be hosting that. So that's going to be pretty cool. Um. So Hillary Clinton, and uh, a lot of everybody's been asking why am I not saying anything about her? Well, now I am. Uh, apparently, she's not going to be um, charged with anything. Apparently, there was uh, n no evidence um, and everything like that. And um, apparently, she's been telling the truth the whole time. And everything. I I don't really know. I I was getting annoyed with this whole political bullshit and everything. So. Um, apparently, from what I heard, she she had um, some deleted, um, some emails deleted, and I was wondering, you know, and I was asking myself, what 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 was getting deleted, you know, what what emails were getting deleted, and I got to thinking. Really? Just one? <laughs> um, came up with five possible theories of what emails were deleted. And these are the top five deleted emails from Hillary, Hillary's top five of Hillary's deleted emails and why only five because again YouTube hasn't been paying me I want my money god damn it 
<laughs> so here we go. Starting with number five, the shittiest one. A receipt for a new blazer jacket. Number four. Back and forth emails to Tom Brady on what's the best way to delete emails. Number three. An email to Donald Trump saying we're playing America like suckers. Trump replies, LOL. Winky face. <laughs> Number two. A loan receipt from Goldman Sachs so she can get a perm. And the number one deleted email from uh, deleted email from Hillary Clinton. A a member from AshleyMadison.com sent Bill Clinton a provocative email, an explicit email, but it was accidentally sent to Hillary. Landed on my lap. Want nothing associated with Ashley Madison on my lap. Nor any member of Ashley Madison on my lap. I want a real woman, goddammit. There was a bug there. Don't believe me? Killed another one. Fucking hot in here. <laughs> so, all right. Again, I hope everybody had a safe and happy Fourth of July. I know I did, but there were a couple of things that were pissing me off, and and I gotta tell you. It was pretty ridiculous. It really is. It's getting to a point where it's really ridiculous. And, you know, <coughs> excuse me. Got a lot of gas buildup. Um, I mean, really, folks, what really pissed me off. What really, really pissed me off this year, um, this this past week, um, was a controversial discussion over hot dogs. Yes, you heard right. Hot dogs. And I'm saying to myself, what the hell? Hot dogs? What's so wrong about hot dogs? Well, according to a tweet made out to um, made out by made out by Merriam Webster, surprising she's still alive. And if you don't know who Merriam Webster is, it's basically the the founder of um is the founder of the Webster's Dictionary. And so, Merriam-Webster, which, and I'm surprised she's still alive. I thought she was worm food by now. Posted a tweet saying, hot dogs are considered sandwiches. Really? Hot dogs as sandwiches. Now, for those of you... Now, I'm sure everybody knows the concept of a hot dog. 
You got a hot dog, and the bun is shaped like this. Like a vagina, if you're lucky. So, this was shocking. A hot dog considered to be a A hot dog considered to be a sandwich. And it drew a lot of backlash. It drew a lot of a lot of fire. And I don't blame them. <laughs> I really don't blame my mom's saying to myself, really. A hot dog is not a sandwich folks a hot dog is not a sandwich nor this is a church all this time this has been a church how in the hell did I not know that Well, I be damned. The fucking church. Um. So I hate to break the news to you for those who are thinking that a hot dog is a sandwich. Well, it isn't. It is not a sandwich. Nor has it ever been a sandwich. Putting it out. And huh? so what's the name of the church? Or is it just called church? One? Okay. Um Happy Day. So, this is ridiculous. That, that really is ridiculous that that a hot dog is um, is now considered a sandwich. Where, where, to me, I'm not calling it a sandwich. It's called a fucking hot dog. A sandwich is something that has, a, has bread on top and bottom. Not a folded piece of, not a folded piece of bread, not a folded piece of bread. Like sometimes, what sometimes people do, it's not a folded piece of bread. It's a bread on the top, bread on the bottom, with meat in the middle, and condiments in the and to make it wet and everything, you know, to moist it in the sandwich up or whatever. So it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It really is. And I'm like, really? Fucking sandwich? Oh, yeah, and they also advise not to put ketchup on your hot dog. Well, I'm sorry, but if a woman is kinky that way and she wants to put ketchup on my hot dog, then I'm sorry. Man, am I perverted tonight? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I've been single for for a couple of years now, and I'm like horny as shit. I am, man. I need to get fucking laid. Say, well, why are you on here? Because I'm broke. That's why I'm here. Entertaining you fucks. I'm 
I'm just kidding. I love you. Not in that way, but I love you. Yeah, let's take a look at the look at the tattoos, huh? Look at the tattoos, huh? On my hairy chest. You know, it's funny how how I make my character look like me in a way. <clears throat> I look like an anorexic version of me. I mean, really, I I don't understand why. I really don't understand why that. Excuse me. I really don't know why there's no like um Bye. Enjoy your purchase. that there's no um uh fucking what is it? Um Like you can't you can't adjust like your size or anything like you can't create your character to like you know to be you know yeah to be like have the option to be skinny average or or um or hefty you know something to that matter I think that would have been really cool you know like a like that I think I think it would be really really cool Know, maybe maybe in the next one. I don't know. Um So but yeah, going back to the whole hot dog thing. I mean that 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 thing was so fucking stupid. I'm like you know, and I don't blame anybody for being pissed off um to the one that tweeted that and it was like like really it's like what a crock of shit. Like, get over it. Um, another thing, another thing that pissed me, uh, pissed me off. But you know, for a while now, but more common now than than ever. Um, because last week they showed off. Um, they Vivo played. An audio version of the ghost of the new Ghostbusters theme song, and of course, everybody had something to say about it. Oh, it sucks! It's bullshit. It makes me not want to see the movie now. It makes me not want to see it, see the movie any more than I don't want to see it now. Uh, I'm like, shut up. Okay, we get it. You don't want to fucking see it. Get over it. Move on. I myself am going to see it. And no one's going to change my mind. If I want to see it, I will. If I want to see it, I will. And to me, I think it looks okay. You know, to me, you know, but, you know, I'm not going by trailers alone. I have to see the actual movie itself. In order to make my final judgment of whether I'm going to like it or not. But as soon as the first trailer came out, everybody was like, Oh my god, this is a horrible abomination. Ah, oh, the, they're women as Ghostbusters. Why can't it be the original? Ah. It's like, Harold Ramis, come back from the dead. We need you to make this movie right. Ah. I'm like, shut, shut the fuck up. Really, it's getting to a point now where it's getting old and annoying. Really, it really is getting... It's like, yeah, we have our original... Go we will always have our original Ghostbusters because of the fact that it's on Blu-ray now, you fucking morons. And now they got... Now they got the Ghostbusters on 4K. So, there you go, folks. There you go. You don't... You know, you can go and revisit... The original Ghostbusters and all its HD or 4K glory. It's there for you. Just shut up and buy it or rent it or whatever. It's on digital stream. Go and buy that or something. I'm sure, you know, you know, I watch it all the time on digital media. I, I'm not complaining about it. Yeah, 
you know, yeah, I may not be a fan of, of um, reboots, but, you know, this one is actually pretty interesting, and I'm going to see it, and I like the special effects. I don't give a fuck when anybody said, oh, it's Scooby-Doo, uh, something that came out of a, of a bootleg Scooby-Doo movie. I'm like, who cares? It's like, maybe I'm, maybe people like me like to see ghosts like that. I mean, come on now. I mean, we still have our nostalgic ghosts from the Ghostbusters movie. Those will never die. Because they're ghosts. But, you know, it's time to move on. It's time to move on and do something for today's, for today's generation. It's time to do that. Time to do something new and creative for today's generation. You know, because the young generation, believe it or not, when they re-released the 30th in, uh, for the 30th anniversary of Ghostbusters um, two years ago, um, I saw you know I saw the movie in theaters and and I thought it was you know it wasn't really cool to relive that and um, I had a good time I had a good time with it. Um, and. It was nice to see that um, that the parent um, that the parents that grew up from this movie took their kids to go see it. So that was really cool, and surprisingly enough, you know, the children weren't 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 that scared about it. And I thought it was you know I said okay, all right, you know, it's a possibility. But strangely enough, some of the ghosts in this in this new version, believe it or not, if you want to believe it or not. Some of them gave me a little, you know, gave me a little jump scare. Not, not like, not like something out of Paranormal Activity jump scares. But I'm talking about like, you know, it's like, you know, and that's it. And then you just move on. So it had some potential there. And it's like, hmm, that's that's pretty interesting. Um, and I don't even know if this movie is going to be in, you know, if there's going to be like a 3D version of the movie. If not, I'm that's going to be a disappointment right there. But nonetheless, the movie looks great. Um, the movie looks great. The soundtrack is all you know. It's, it's all right. You know, it's not. It's not bad. It's it's you know pretty decent. And it's like, oh, it's not Ray Parker Jr. doing it. Why? I'm like, it's like if they actually, you know, if they. It's like here's the thing. If they redid, if they redid. Now, I know they they redid Ray Parker Jr.'s Ghostbusters, but if they did it to a point where it was worse, I'm like off camera here. If if it was worse than what Fallout Boy really did, you still, regardless of how good it may sound, it still would piss you guys off. So no matter what. You know, you're, so no matter what, you're still gonna bitch about it because of the fact that you know they still mess with the Ghostbusters theme song, and it's like they do that all the time. They do that all the time. They even they did that with um, the only ones that didn't do that was with the Star Wars franchise. That was the only ones they kept it original. You know, they kept the songs original. You know, John Williams still doing the score for it, so that's pretty cool. And um, he will. You know, you think of Star Wars, you think of John Williams, and um. They, they changed they changed the Star Trek theme a little bit, but you know, like, nye, nye. all right. So you know, I let it I let it pass. You know, it was like you know, it was still you know, st you know, still hyped up and everything like that. It was really cool. Um, But you gotta understand, though, the times are times are changing, and you have to, you know, yeah, you still have that nostalgic Ghostbusters song, which is played every year. Um, that's never gonna go away. So you know, it's time to move on. And not only that, there was a huge, you know, even back then there was a problem with the ghost with the original Ghostbusters soundtrack that that many of you may not know about. That many of you may not know about. Back then, Ray Parker Jr. was in court with against Huey Lewis and the News. Why? Because the the beat, 
because of the beat, not the actual song itself, but the 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 beat to it. Dun, 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 you know that one. Apparently, it was ripping off um, the beat to Huey Lewis's "I Want a New Drug," and that became. And from what I understand, Huey Lewis won that um, won that court. However, um. They didn't change, you know, they didn't change nothing. You... They didn't change nothing in the lyric, you know, they didn't change nothing or anything like that. It's still Ghostbusters and you still have I Want a New Drug. So nothing, nothing changed for that. They just gave, you know, they just gave a percentage so that they can use the right, you know, to use the rights. And this is why the whole thing of the copyright and everything like that. Even back then there was problem with copyrights. So it was huge. It was fucking huge. So you want to you want to go back to for the movie they didn't really use that they didn't really use that song as much they in the first ghostbusters movie they did it from beginning middle and end but it was broken down the, at the beginning it was just instrumental it was an instrumental sample then in the middle they played the full version of the song, which was good. Then, at the end, they played the song, the the, the lyrical song, sample it, and that was it. And they had the um, and they didn't really use it that much. They didn't really use it that much. They you know, they went they went with other stuff, and it was you know it was it was well done. Now. In the second film is a different story. They had a different Ghostbusters theme, but still kept they still kept the original theme. But they only brought it out at the beginning and the end. But only in samplets. Only in samplets. So they didn't use the song they didn't really use the song that much. They didn't really use the song that much. Um they had they had another theme song that they that they did. I think it was Run Run DMC that did the rap version. Uh, did the rap version of the Ghostbusters, and it was awesome. It was really awesome. And and it worked. And you know, and still, but people still complained about it because of the fact that it wasn't the original Ghostbusters theme that they used. So even back then, so even back then, so. I mean, if they really wanted to, they could have used the, um, they could have used the, um, you know, they could have, they could have dubbed over the Run DMC version. Just putting it out there, folks. Um, and not only that, they had the, go they also had the Ghostbusters themes, um, they also had another Ghostbusters song, um, that was sung by Bobby Brown. Well, I guess we're gonna have... Take them That's all I'm doing. <laughs> so, so they had many theme. They had many theme songs targeted towards Ghostbusters. You know, on that second Ghostbusters film. So, wherever they de they decide to put the Fallout Boy Missy Elliott version. Most likely, it will be at the end. So relax. Relax, because they're probably going to use the dubstep ver um the dubstep version, um which they put on the trailers. Most likely, that's going to be at the beginning. It's like burn it, burn it, burn it, burn it, you know. I mean, come on. That you know. So relax. And it's like if you if you really want you know if you, if you're that picky over a song, just be happy that Kanye West didn't make the song. Shit, everybody's giving him enough problems because he was playing him you know, because one of his songs made it to the trailers for the Assassin's Creed trailer <coughs> for the Assassin's Creed movie. Oh. 
Which, again, that pissed me off as well, too, because of the fact that, oh my god, really, it's just a fucking song that's going to be played in the... Like somewhere in the movie, most likely during the um during the present day sequences. I mean, fuck! Oh my god! Like, get a fucking grip! Hi, sis. How's broker? You really need to get a fucking grip. I mean, really, too. It's like the con know. you know I people on social here. media shoot you know, shot, you know shouldn't be allowed to. Sp hey. Like, people who comment stuff on social media shouldn't have to, you know, shouldn't be allowed to comment at all. <laughs> if they're going to be assholes. Everybody has a right to what they say, but... But sometimes people are abusing that power. They really are abusing that power. So... So... I don't care... I'm going to see the Ghostbusters. I'm going to see this new Ghostbusters because, you know, to me it still looks interesting and I like the cast that's in it. I like the special f I I'm one of those people who actually can tolerate the the special effects and the music is pretty good, um pretty cool. And, and the gadgets are also are equally awesome. They really are because you never seen some of the gadgets that you, um you know, some of the gadgets that you see in this um see in this movie now are some of the gadgets that you would never that you never would have expected to show up in in the original Ghostbusters. So you know what? That works. So you know, I, I like the fact that you can punch a ghost with a with a proton knuckle buster or some shit like that. You know, I think they're calling it the knuckle buster or some shit. I don't know, but it's really cool. I mean, it looks really cool. It fits on your glove and it looks like it kind of looks like a like a futuristic taser. And you fucking punch a ghost? I mean, come on! You wouldn't want to do that? I mean, come on, it has the proton... You know, the... Proton pack accelerator particles and shit like that, and... Boom! Knock a ghost out, that's fucking awesome! That's fucking badass! I like the trap, It look, you know, even though it looks kind of bulky... It looks pretty cool. I, I like the trap, and I like the um, the one that looks like a bear trap and everything like that. That one looks pretty cool. But, you know, the jokes are, you know, the jokes are linear, you know, from what I've seen. It looks all right. I mean, you know, I've seen funnier, but, you know, I can tolerate them because, you know, childish humor is what I like. For all we know, this movie could be to, um, targeted towards kids. So there. I mean, Jesus Christ, get get with yourselves. So, with that being said, um, I actually made a tweet to Paul Fig, the producer of Ghostbusters. One that's taking care of the the Ghostbusters remake, and I told him, gave him a little shout out. He hasn't replied back, but he did like what I said. So. Um. My my computer is slow. So he fa he favored it. Um, Paul Fig favored it. And, and this is what I wrote to him. I said, "At Paul Fig, I'm looking forward to seeing Ghostbusters in theaters. And if it's okay with you, I would be honored to review it on my channel." That bitch can act better than me. He gave it a thumbs up. He he favored he favored that. So. If I don't get this part, I'll die. To me, I think that you know he's giving me the okay to. Review it. I'm done talking to you. So, with that being said, I have a huge announcement. I am debuting a new show on my YouTube channel. And it's going to be called Tom Dog Reviews. So, it's going to be, it can be anything, it can be any review, um, pretty much, pretty much any review that you want, um, provided I, I've either A, have seen it in theaters, or, or own it. So, 
going to make that limitation out right now. Um, so, the first episode will be my review of Ghostbusters. I am going to do a Ghostbusters review. And it's going to be the very first episode that I do it on. And I want everybody to know right now I'm going to be fair and honest. I'm not going to show, you know, if there's, you know, if there's something wrong, I'm not going to be a jerk about it. I'm going to be as professional as possible. And I'm not going to, you know, trash the movie hardly. You know, if there's, some, if there's points where it's like, mm, I didn't kind of like, you know, I'm going to say things like, you know, if there's something that, that didn't spark me. You know, I'm going to say, I'm probably going to say things like, you know, the, you know, I didn't think that was really cool, but, you know, it made up here or made up there or anything, you know, sort of thing. You know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, this movie was, a, you know, I'm not going to sit on camera and say, this movie was a piece of shit. It's an abomination. It needs to get out of theaters now. It's like, I'd rather watch Gem than watch this movie. No, I'm not going to do that. No. I mean, really, folks. I really... It, it's... You know, I'm not going to be a jerk about it. I mean, you know, if it's good, it's good. If it, you know, if it's some points where I think it's bad, and all, I'm going to comment on it. But I'm not going to be malicious about it. I'm just going to be professional. And I said, well, I didn't kind of like this scene, but you know what? This scene was a lot. You know, however, this scene over here was awesome. You know, and I'm going to say that. And you know, and keep in mind there will be spo um, there may be some sp you know there's going to be some spoilers. So, um, so it's. Your choice, whether to uh, watch it or wait, whatever. Um, that's totally up to you. So yeah, that's my big announcement. That next week, I am going to review the Ghostbusters movie, and it's going to be a live. It's going to be a re oh excuse me. It's going to be a review. And we're going to have a good time with it. So check it out. Um, keep posted to my, uh, to my Twitter, uh, to my Twitter feeds and, and my, uh, web page over at brillpro.com. So what time is it? It is 12, almost 12.30. So, all right. So we're gonna fart around a little bit. Um, get this out of the way. Um, <coughs> I've been getting a cold lately. I hope I'm not getting a cold. I don't, really don't want to get a cold. Um, so yeah, that's the big announcement. So keep it tuned. I will tell you. I will post more stuff about it later on. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that pissed me off of the weekend. Uh, maybe some other stuff I will, I'll probably post a rant about it, but not right now. So, all right, here's some, uh, some new cars. Not those, not those two in the back or those three in the back. Um, this one right here, uh, do the Fister 811. This is the one that came out a couple weeks ago. I like the color scheme on this one. Nice and... Nice and awesome. So, it's really cool. Um, we're gonna drive around a little bit. <clears throat> get the hand, get the feel of it. And this car is pretty fast, but I haven't, I haven't upgraded it yet, so. <coughs> That's pretty cool. That was amazing. Um, I'm 
go to the airport. Just to speed out on this. Try my best not to crash this ride. Crash this ride. So, try not to uh, stay too long on this. Um, in case the power goes out again. Here's a funny thing about um, last week's show. Immediately following... Immediately after I ended my broadcast last week. You know, I turned everything all off and everything like that. And then you know I figured I'd, I figured I'd do some missions before I turned it in for the night. The power goes off. So immediately after, after my sh uh, broadcast, the power goes off. Oh man, I was pissed. I was really, really pissed off. I really was. It was like, but not to this. Um, but not as pissed off if. Um, um, but not as pissed off as. Um, if I was still doing the broadcast and. Yeah, that was a cop that said that. Hey, Captain Enders, how are you? Um, so... <clears throat> so, yeah, um... So, yeah, couldn't, couldn't have timed it any better. What happened was a cha transformer blew. What happened? And I kind of messed up my uh, my front end there. So. All right, let's test the speed on this bad boy. This is the uh, Fister 811, one of the new cars that came out um, last week. So. We're gonna test on how fast this car is. I didn't upgrade this or anything like that, so I'm just I haven't really tested out its um, horsepower. I haven't had a chance to get the uh, that that the, the Rowdy Proto. I haven't gotten that one yet. Not too bad. I like the body on this. I really do. And I got the stock. I bought us. Um, I bought the stock color on this. I. And I. I didn't. I didn't change it. I really did not change it because I. You know this. Co this color scheme really stands out. So I kept it. I kept it just like this. All right, let's. Strangely enough, this door opens. So let's test the jump height. Let's see how high this jumps. I think I'm gonna fuck up my holy shit. <laughs> that was some wicked air time. That was some wick wicked air time. <laughs> that was awesome. That was actually pretty badass. Would have been nice if I stuck the landing. That would have been cool.
Let's test this ramp over here. This car can get the fuck out of my way. Now, here's the thing about this one. I would have gone over here. I would have gone over here to test the ramp over here. But here's a problem with that. If I did, if I did, and I went over there, I probably would have sent that into the, uh, that river down by where the, um, I probably would have sent it down by the, um, the water over there by the, uh, by the dock down there. By the, by the boat, boating dock. By Fisherman's Wharf. But this car is pretty cool. I like this. I need to get the, the Grotti Proto, though. I'm actually saving up for that. As you can see, I have none. <laughs> Alrighty. Car so this car is so fast that it takes long to load up the graphics. <laughs> That's awesome. So the next car I'm going to show off uh, just came out uh, this week. The um, the Debauchi. 770. I like I like the paint job on um, that I did. I I'm using my my crew paint job with a yellow um pearlescent. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not not much of a customization though, which was disappointing. Like, you couldn't customize the bumper. But. Or even the, uh, the hood. I think that was, a, like, a letdown. I, I really like how the color stands out on this. I got the crew, I got the crew logo. And the crew, um color and the uh, and the yellow the, uh, the racing yellow okay. lesson I haven't I haven't really had a chance to test out the speed and I kept the stock the stock rims some of the cars, um, some of the cars, I like the stock rims on. So that's pretty cool. And I like the carbon, um, the carbon platings, which really stands out even more. <coughs> This one I I think I upgraded. I'm not sure. I know I put armor and bulletproof tires on. I still have more stuff. I think I have more stuff to put on here, so I probably didn't. 
Oops. It handles well. The handling is right on. Let's go ahead and test this out. Nice speed. Not too bad. Not too bad. Breaking's good. And this is actually a uh, sports car. So, let's test that ramp over there on the left. <laughs> but pretty high though that was pretty high Let's see how really high it gets when I go 420 <laughs> let's see if I can make it in oh <laughs> Saved by the pole. <laughs> that would have been funny if I took the pole out with it. That would have been funny as shit. So yeah, those are the new uh, new cars that came out within a matter of two weeks. Pretty soon the Grotty Proto will be mine. Oh my god, I almost nailed that chick. <laughs> oh my god. Like light flashed before her eyes right there. She'll go home and be like, you No know one almost happened to me? I almost died. The car went flying and it went over my head and it was like spinning 360. I almost died.
license plate. No. Hoping I would get get that bumper off. <laughs> so. All right. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Wanted to show off the new cars for a little bit before I called it the night. Got to take an acid reducer now and everything. So, um, I'll be back here again next Thursday. And uh, be sure to follow, um, subscribe. If you, uh, be sure to hit that like button there and. Uh, Subscribe to my uh, subscribe to this channel here, but make sure to follow me on you on uh, go on YouTube Tom Arcade sixty nine and face hug that like and subscribe button. Could do me a world of good. And uh, once again, big shout out um once again to uh to my friend Jennifer. Who's uh, going to be premiering, uh, debuting on Bristol Beat this Saturday? Um, download it. Bristolbeat.com is the, is the website to go on um, to download it, whether you have Android or iOS. Um, give that a give that a uh, give that a look and everything like that, and uh, follow them on Facebook, and everything. And uh, we will see you here all again next week. Same Tom Dog time, same Tom Dog channel. Till then, this is Tom Dog saying take care, so long, peace.